a little saucy off the shoulder action never hurt nobody unless I actually like shouldered someone in the eye. That could really leave a mark. What's up, Buttercups? Welcome to Mantra Monday, where I, Amy Young, kick off your week with a simple but empowering statement that you can take and use as a mantra in your own dating life. Do you know how we like to get Mantra Monday started? It's with us an Ariel. Your friend brought you to this party and you really wish that you had just passed. Because these kinds of social gatherings aren't really your thing. Because people want to like talk to each other and like get to know each other and you aren't that great at that because, well, you're a little bit guarded. You don't want to talk to anybody. You don't want to meet anybody. I mean, you always say you want to meet people, but then when someone puts you in the situation where you could meet people, you're like, oh right, I hate this shit. Because do you know what happens when you have small talk with people, especially with guys? Um, you might start to like them, and then they might like you, and then you'll go down this road together, and you'll just inevitably hurt each other, and you've been there, done that, and you're over it. And all your friends are like, you need to give people a chance. You need to just open up a little bit. You're awesome. If people just saw how awesome you are, you would have a boyfriend already. And you're like, oh, hi. I can't show people how awesome I am because they fucking abuse it. You are here just to eat the snacks and to make very limited small talk and maybe it would be nice if you could like meet a cute guy, but let's be real. What does that lead to? Pain and heartache and lack of freedom and entrapment and darkness and doom and you're not signing up for that anymore. What a depressing nightmare of a story. <laughs> Repeat after me. When my guard is up, my chances go down. When my guard is up, my chances go down. When my guard is up, my chances go down. Well, tell me something I don't know, fucking Captain Obvious. I don't really like the idea of my chances going down though. Like, I don't really want to think about it that way. I just prefer to stay, you know, closed off and cold and ice princessy and fuck, am I gonna have to change that? I haven't really considered like the long-term implications of this way of being. Like in the short term, it's great. Like total gratification. I don't have to fucking talk to anybody, but in the long term, wow, I might be really screwing myself over. And that's not fair. That's not fair to me and that's not fair to the lovely people at this party who I am not gracing with my effervescent presence when I don't have such a stick up my ass, which I do a lot of the time. I gotta put that stick somewhere else. It just doesn't make sense for me to continue this way if being guarded and closed off is producing the opposite results of what I actually want in my life, which is meaningful connection and romantic fulfillment and all this juicy fucking stuff that sounds so good in theory. Yeah! I'm not saying that I will be good at it. I'm not saying that I even really know how right now, but I'm gonna make efforts. The guard is going down, so my chances at love can continue to go up. Here I am, world. I said I'd work on it. All we can ever do is try, and then try again, and then keep trying, just try, uh, keep trying. If you want that good, good love, you gotta let your guard down sometimes. Like just a little, like just test it out. <laughs> you got this. You know, there's always so many more things I wanna say that I just can't fit into these videos. And that is why I send out a regular email series to the awesome community of people who are part of the bigger conversation that's happening over at amyoungcoaching.com. So if you wanna get in on that, just head to the link that's in the description box. You can enter your email right down there and I'll visit your inbox very soon. I would love to connect with you that way. Speaking of making connections. Something tells me that you have a gal pal who would love to get in on this party. So go ahead and share this video with her. Help her get in on the romance revolution because we are totally changing the way that you think about dating and relationships over here. One video at a fucking time. Thank you so much for watching. And if you liked this video, please subscribe to my channel. I would really love to see you on a regular basis. And until next time, I'll see ya. Bye-bye. If you raise your arms like it doesn't, it's like a trap, like keep your arms by your side. No windmilling, missy.